Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here I have for you today is going to be the High Grade Build Divers Gundam 00 Sky. Um, now, what I will say is, I think it's a pretty decent design, but I was really expecting something more. I, I, don't, I don't know really how I can say, I, you know, like in what terms of, of a design I was expecting, but I just was not really happy with uh, the combination of the Destiny uh, Gundam kind of being used in the overall design concept. It's not bad, but yeah, even like with seeing it in the anime, uh, seeing the kit being reviewed by some of the Japanese YouTubers, um, yeah, it's it's a little bit lackluster for me. So that's just kind of like what my thoughts are. Obviously, I have not built it, nor have I posed it or put some details on it. So my overall decision could probably change. And I am going to begin the uh, Higher Than the Sky version. Um, so the Higher Than the Sky version is probably going to come directly after this one. But without further ado, uh, just taking a look at the front cover art. It looks pretty decent. Uh, seems like a, a good portion of the body just really is not as exposed. Like there's a lot of emphasis on the, uh, the like I guess it's the sword destroyer. I don't know what the sword is actually called, but um, yeah, the giant like sword destroyer. It just takes up a good portion of the uh, the box, and I don't know. It just it looks weird. I think I think the overall front cover art could have been a little bit better, but hey, that's just me. And this kit was released in 2018. Retails for 1,500 yen. And it's number 14 in the Bill Divers line. Alright, so looking here at the side, uh, he gets some little action poses. So he does have the beam rifle right there, which I think looks pretty decent overall. Uh, and then right over here, you are going to have the Buster Sword. So it's not a ship destroyer, it's just a Buster Sword. Uh, but overall, it does look pretty damn good. So, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with the way it looks. And it's also going to come with that nice little beam effect right there. And then over here, you're going to have the long rifle, which is another just amazing looking, um, you know, weapon, uh, which pretty much stems from the, um, the Destiny unit. And I'm pretty sure it's not the same exact design, doesn't look anywhere near it, um, but it's basically the same concept. Then he's going to have some beam sabers right there on the front skirts. And he had the lash position, which is basically a... Uh, a melee combat mode, so the uh, gauntlets go forward. Uh, the feet kind of go in a different arc, almost like high heels. Um, and then the backpack folds down. So, I, mean, I guess it's, the backpack is main, mainly used to give the arms more, more mobility. That's the way I'm kind of looking at it. Um, but, I don't know, it's, it's okay. And right here on the side, it shows you all the other Bill Divers kits. And lastly, you're going to have a front and rear shot of the kit, unpainted, undetailed. And then over here, you're just going to have some information of the double O uh, sky. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the first runner, which is going to be runner A. One of the first things you're going to take a, note, a notice to is there's a lot of clear parts pretty much all on top here and all on the bottom right here. And what's odd is because these, this is basically the runner for uh, the original double uh, O diver. And it's just kind of odd. Why are these pieces clear? I, I don't get this. <laughs> and if someone in the comments can definitely let me know, uh, I'll be very appreciative of it. Uh, but yeah, I have no idea why these parts are clear. Um, so it's basically just going to be the torso, feet. Uh, they got some parts over here, which should be the collar, as well as uh, I think this is going to be the front skirts, and then all the other parts, which I know these were, uh, were originally all clear, but just these parts didn't make any sense. Uh, but anyways... So there's going to be a lot of uh, parts that are just going to be recycled essentially, mostly just you know for the inner frame purposes. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much about it for the uh, the A runner itself. All right, now we move on to runner B, which is going to be a uh, majority of the main colors. So you got the uh, the yellow, you got the red, you got the blue, and a very very dark blue. Um, so. It looks pretty good overall. Uh, the one thing I'm pretty sure y'all are concerned about is uh, that you know big scar on the uh, the front, uh, which is actually right over here. So if you look, I don't know if you can really really see it, but yeah, the, the scar is molded into the piece itself uh, right here. So it's not a sticker like a lot of people was kind of expecting it to be. It's an actual mold, which I, I think is actually pretty good. Uh, because if you really don't want to see it uh, through like the, uh, the clear the clear part, um, you can always just like fill that in, you know, get some putty, put it right over that, and uh, smooth it out, and then paint it. Shouldn't be any problem. But I, I'm I'm just not going through all that effort. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the scar because uh, that's kind of a part of the mobile suit itself. Um, but anyways, uh, all the blue on here looks really good. A lot of good de uh, surface details on some of these areas. Um, so yeah, looks pretty decent. 
All right, next we're gonna have runner C. Runner C is gonna be an all white runner. Uh, so basically, just gonna consist of anything that is white on the kit. Um, so you got the front uh, skirts, you got the legs and everything. So looks pretty decent. You got the jean drawers right here, which are pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in that uh, with some green. And you get the beam sabers right here. Um, overall, looks pretty good. And the last main runner of the kit is going to be the D runner, which has all the weapons uh, basically on it. So you're gonna have the sword, you get the little beam rifle, and the other uh, the little sh like the um, the backpack cannon, the little thing that goes under the uh, the shoulder. So you are gonna have that. Uh, looks pretty good overall. Uh, some good details inside there. So I'm a I may paint some details in here. I just haven't really decided on there uh, on what I wanted to really do with this kit. Uh, but yeah, overall, you know, doesn't look too bad. Then you are going to get a, a pretty big poly cap sheet right here, two normal beam sabers, two beam effect parts for the uh, the actual buster sword, and you get a clear chest piece which is going to be on runner F. You also get a nice little sticker sheet which has uh, a lot of extra green on this side so if you ever want to just cut these out, uh, like just cut little parts out and place it on like another kit uh, just to get that effect, uh, you're definitely more than willing to do that. And the last thing we're going to talk about is the Gundam 00 Sky Manual. Uh, so nothing really too crazy on the front. You're going to have some cl uh, color instructions on the inside. And then that's pretty much about it. Now one thing to take note of, I'll go ahead and show you this. Uh, a lot of these parts are going to be X'd out. This is the Aid Runner. So a lot of the Aid Runner is actually X'd out. And then moving on to the B, the C, and the D. That's all pretty much going to be good. With a couple uh, X'd out from the polycap itself. Uh, and then the one little uh, beam effect part for the beam buster. Um, but other than that, looks pretty good. Doesn't really look like it's going to have any kind of complications or anything that's going to be uh, too difficult. And kind of goes over those little action poses and everything that was on the uh, side of the box. And then your little color guide as typical. But other than that, guys, definitely thanks for watching. And uh, stay tuned. Probably in the next uh, couple of days, I'll go ahead and release a review for this. And you can go ahead and see that in full detail. So other than that, guys, I'll be seeing you all in the next review. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.